and also satanic groups uh, started to have the, the Church of Satan that started uh, in the 70s and so on. They never gained much popularity, but you can see uh, a lot of reference to the devil and shaitan uh, in Western culture. Yeah, in, in music. Uh, yeah, uh, if you go in here, of course, Wikipedia is not the best place to, to have hmm. the resource. But if you go into Wikipedia and write devil in the arts and popular culture, you will see under all these things like music, classical music, popular music, film, television, film, television, animation, radio, literature, uh, video games, and so on, how many references there are to the devil uh, mm. in music, in film, and so on. It's not always that they, they, they praise the devil. There are some examples of, uh, other than that, but in music, especially... They have this thing that they're saying that they have a deal with the devil, that they sold the soul to the devil, and so on. And these are things that they uh, they say during their. They have these lyrics uh, that are very satanic uh, in in Western culture. You can even see in, in many films too, many series, uh, video games, and all these things. They have these occult things that are esoteric. Uh, things that get into video games and to to music and to films and series and so on and this is very interesting and there there's a specific subject that they study called a culture uh where they study this culture phenomena uh, phenomena uh, in the west it's interesting that, that there's, even in the Muslim world, there's a certain Muslim country, I won't say where, where a Western singer went just a few weeks ago and the lyrics were, were quite well known about bowing down to worship the goddess and uh, and so on. And this is explicitly kind of pagan, um, satanic kind of rhetoric going on there, even even in a Muslim country, so I won't say which one, but it's infiltrating uh, through popular music now uh, in, in other parts of the world, not just the West. Yeah, you see, like even like famous music videos that they have, uh, speaking about how they sold the soul to the devil and how yeah. the devil coming into the music videos and so on. So, devil and esoteric thoughts are very spread out in in Western culture today. Uh, yeah, uh, this is another thing that I think is very interesting: uh, the esoteric tradition in Freemasonry. So the first gentleman uh, there is called Albert Pike. He got a book called Morals and Dogma. And he was the supreme commander of the Scottish Rite, which is uh, the biggest rite in, uh, in USA, uh, for about 20 or 30 years or something like that. So he was like the main boss during the 19th century for Freemasonry in the States. Uh, 33 degree uh, Freemason and he wrote this book Morals and Dogma and this book is uh, you can download it as a PDF and you can uh, read it and it's full of esoteric and occult things and this is how he explained the different levels that they have the different degrees that they have in uh, in Freemasonry so if mm -hmm. someone wants to get uh, like an insight in how they understand the rituals uh, it can go back to the book Morals of Dogma. It's very hard to understand because usually esoteric li literature, if you don't, if you're not, uh, you don't really understand the different uh, uh, the wordings that they're using or the thoughts that they have. It's quite hard to understand. But someone as Albert uh, as Albert Pike had this uh, huge influence amongst the Freemasons that he wrote this book with the esoteric thought. It can show it shows us that. The aesthetic tradition is widespread in uh, amongst Freemasons, uh, especially the, the, the Scottish Rite. The other person uh, called Manly Hall, uh, he got a book called The Secret Teachings of All Ages. It was very influential too amongst the uh, Freemasons. Uh, his books are very esoteric too. And he even, in one of the books that I read from him, he mentioned that uh, the, the religion of Freemasonry. So he, he mentioned that it's an own religion. Uh, wow. And he got all of these different, uh, he takes like uh, teachings from different religions, and especially he's talking about the Hermeticism and, uh, uh, and uh, Neoplatonist uh, thoughts and all these things from old Egypt uh, time. And he uh, put them together in uh, this book, Secret Teaching of All Ages, and other books that he wrote too. And uh, the third person is uh, King Charles the Thirteenth of Sweden, uh, who established the Swedish uh, or formed the Swedish Rite that we have in Sweden and Denmark and Norway and Iceland. And uh, 
uh, like I said, when I spoke to, to my teacher, he said that his thoughts were even more esoteric than other rights that they have in, in Freemasonry. So you have this esoteric tradition in Freemasonry. It's very hard to, to know exactly what they believe in, exactly what they do, uh, what their rituals uh, mm. consist of. But mm. there are books that you can read, and there are also academic research about them so you can understand more what they believe and what uh, they do. Mm. 